Hey everybody, I've come up to the shop today because I can't stand to be away from working with flowers. Um, when it becomes a part of your daily life, it's hard to, to stop doing it. So I thought it would be fun if I showed you how to do a small little container, maybe something that you could do yourself with things that you find in your yard, even if it's just greenery, or even um, you can find flowers at the grocery store still now. So that's, that's something to think about. So um, I've chose this little compote and I thought that would be a nice container whether you have a compote or you have a bowl or what have you, you could kind of use this same technique for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, we are, the shop is closed because of coronavirus, as everyone knows and is aware. Um, I don't, I'm not sure when we're gonna be able to reopen. I hope it's sooner rather than later. Um, it's hard to be away from the shop and to be away from our wonderful customers and to just have the energy of everybody working in the shop. I miss my work ladies. We get in here and we, we work hard, but we have a great time. So um, I'm missing that a whole lot. So I'm starting off with just a little bit of Bells of Ireland. You could easily, and I'm gonna turn this around so you can see it from all directions. You could easily use just some greenery from your yard. Um, I have a little bit of Safari here that I'm gonna put in the very center of my container. And I kinda like that it has just a little bit of uh, a different texture, different colors to add to the arrangement. I really thought, thought about using purples and whites and greens for this container um, just because it seems spring-like and also because it's what I had in my cooler. So um, using a little bit of Larkspur here. Um, this is a really pretty blue uh, that tends to look almost purpley. And um, there we go, got it in there. And it's just, it's fun to use the little, I call them tendrils, but the little buds that come off of it too. So save those for another use if you ever have the chance to work with this. And pretty much anything that, that you're working with, it's fun to save all the little pieces and parts and it makes for a more interesting arrangement. Um, today I'm using floral scissors. I actually learned um, to work on flowers with a knife, which is really the the way that you're supposed to, but these are actually floral scissors. They're razor sharp. Um, I have, I never did as long as I used a knife. I never cut myself with the knife. Uh, however, uh, once the store opened, all the ladies wanted to use these scissors. And so um, I thought, okay, went in Rome and uh, I cut myself and had to go get stitches. So if you do, we do sell these. If you get these ever, be very careful. Okay, so we kind of have the basic here. We've, we've sort of got our four pieces of the, of the circle here. I'm gonna turn it around so you see from all directions, it's looking really pretty. And the next thing I'm gonna go with, with any, with any arrangement, you wanna use your line flowers, which is what we started with here. You wanna use your mass, which is this beautiful, this is a beautiful, uh, I think this is Playa Blanca rose, this beautiful white rose. Oh, it has purple on it. Let me get another one here. Um, this one, super beautiful rose, um, and this is called a mass flower, and that would be what you'd want. Three kinds, linear, mass, and a filler, like, um, let's see, what filler do I have? I have these cute little Kermit moms that I'll be using in a minute for a filler. So, just a few things. It typically makes you have a more cohesive arrangement if you, if you work that way. So, I've put this rose here. And I'm kind of working, I'm gonna go work in threes with these roses and space them a little bit evenly throughout the arrangement so that it makes for a pretty view no matter which direction you're looking from. And um, let's see, we'll move over here and then I'll turn it around so you can see from all directions, we're kind of evenly spaced all around, okay? Um, if you're using foam like we are today, if you do, if you don't like where you've put a flower, uh, take it out of that hole, but and recut it, but don't put it back in the same hole because uh, it it's already got the foam in it and it won't be happy. It won't be drinking water, and you won't be happy because your arrangement will be pretty either. So, um, I'm using these carnations. Uh, these are sort of a multicolored purple. They're really pretty. Um, carnations can get a bad rap, but we like using them here in the shop a little bit. It's how you use them. Um, 
for a nice pop of color because look how pretty that purple is. Um, you know, if you did a whole arrangement with carnations, maybe not, and you have to choose the right colors and make it look really pretty together, but um, they're gonna last a super long time, so we like that. And um, let's see, there we go. Um, they are at a nice pop of color that you can't get anywhere else. Okay, so, so far I'm liking the flowers in here. Um, and I think I, what I wanna do right now is start greening it up and doing what's called breaking the line of the container. So if you look, you can see that, you can see my foam, you can see my container. What I'm gonna start doing is covering all of that up. And to do that, I have got some very pretty greens. I've got some, a variety of eucalyptus, some myrtle, um, that is just a pretty t different colors. It's again, like I said, we need mass line and filler on flowers. Well, it's the same with greenery. You want three different kinds of greenery. And so on this, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my eucalyptus first. And I like this because it's almost like a blue green, which gives a great contrast to our super sharp greens of our Bells of Ireland. So I think that's, that's kind of nice and fun. And um, I hope all of you are doing well uh, staying inside. It's certainly a challenge for all of us. It's, it's a huge challenge for our shop to be closed. Um, I know that some people are still doing deliveries. Uh, we were, we did deliveries a lot last week. Uh, our, our proclamations got a little more stringent and it seemed to me like they really wanted us to stay home. Uh, so we're going to do that for as long as we can, see, you know, kind of how the environment is, how this virus spreads or whatever, but we hope that you're staying home and being safe and you're able to watch this video. So, all right, so I've put my, my eucalyptus in. I think I need another little piece over here. And anything that you put down in the foam, you want to make sure you take all the leaves off because if you put it in the foam or in your water, it helps bacteria to grow and if bacteria grows then your flowers are not happy and they die a lot faster so all right so i'm going to turn this around so you kind of see that we've added the eucalyptus um, now i'm going to add a little bit of myrtle and it's a little more lineal linear it doesn't drape quite as much so i'm going to kind of follow our linear pieces here but go down just a little bit lower like a little close to our safari but a little bit lower and do the same over on this side and i might cut this down a little bit and put it down here. Okay, there you are. And I'm gonna continue on with a little more. Um, a little bit more. I'm gonna go a little shorter over here and kind of give it a little more volume over here. Okay. Um, I'd love to hear questions that you have. We do workshops a lot here, and um, it's great when people when people are here with me because they can ask questions along the way or either afterwards, and it helps them. It helps me realize what I'm not saying, but it also helps them with the whole process. So, okay, so here we are. We're filling in, but we still see a good bit of our foam, so we don't want that. So we're going to go and use a little bit bigger of a leaf um, with our salal here. Some people call it salal, uh, some people call it lemon leaf. It's just, you know, every flower has just about three, four names. So it's it's fun to hear what other people call things. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. And this too is helping us break the line of the container, which is always makes a prettier arrangement, makes it look like the flowers grew out of this vase instead of, um, us just putting them in here. And then it's always nice to have some kind of a little bit of filler. And this, these little Kermit moms, I love them for their green, um, their nice green color. But if you take them off of their huge stem and separate them, you end up with some really nice accents or what I would like to call filler. And you can place them in throughout the arrangement and I like to go high and low with them, and that helps a little bit. And I kind of put some down low. Let's see if I have any more. Oh, I do have another one, yay. Okay, and I'm gonna turn this guy around just so you can see where we are, okay. 
And I'm gonna also put, we have some uh, little green berries that just add another little bit of texture. And I love, I love that. And also gives those a little more fullness in some spaces that maybe look a little blank and barren and we don't want that. We want it to look full and, and happy and, and full of spring happiness here as much as we can. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around so you can see where I filled in on this side and I'm gonna to continue to fill in over here. And I'm doing this um, without my glasses on, which is a challenge here. These are the little tendrils I was telling you about or little buds from the Larkspur that really add a great look, add just a little bit of a, sort of a, like it, as if it grew in nature element to it. Um, I'm gonna add a little more of our myrtle up in here. I just see it needs just a little more fullness. And I'm gonna go a little bit low with it as well. Again, breaking the line of the container a little bit. Same, I'm gonna go, I kinda do what I do to one side, I try to do to the other, which is why I turn around and, and kinda check it from all directions. And then it helps you see where you are. But anyway, so there's just a small little compote with just a few of the flowers that we had left over. I'd love to hear your questions. Um, I'm not skilled enough to do a live video just yet. So this one's been recorded so you can ask questions forever. Um, any, any kind of questions about this arrangement, about flowers in general, about the shop, um, we'd love to hear from you. And we hope this has helped you, inspired you. And we'll do another one. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.